really great. Uh, he did a great job. And he and uh, Nate Tandem uh, there at the end. Uh, I mean, Earl coming in off the bench at the end and making a block shot. Uh, uh, and, uh, he, he made a couple of boo-boos early, and the uh, coach was mad at him, and I, I just told him he had to come back in there. He's going to be needed. And he was, and, and it made a, uh, an awful big uh, uh, made an awful big play at the end there to, to save us. How proud are you from the two for 17 in the fourth quarter to be able to survive, get the overtime? What does it say about what you guys are made of? Well, I think they're pretty good defensive players, and they got that that, uh, that uh, mentality that they're not going to quit and they're not going to give in. Um, I, I don't know if people realize how mentally tough a, a kid like Chaz Lott is, and uh, how, how uh, tough uh, Lebanon is. And, you know, th those guys, uh, th they're pretty tough kids. Uh, now, uh, as I said to him just in there, we, we got a little bit better at this uh, attacking their, their zone, but we got to get a little bit better than that because uh, uh, we, we've got to score a few buckets. And uh, as I said earlier, you know, maybe their legs got a little tired. I, maybe I got to start rotating a few more people. So. What do you think? What adjustments have you guys done in the Big Ten Tennis coach for one more game? Well, um, I think we have to play McGinn, and McGinn's got something to say about that. And uh, uh, I really don't know who Troy's got left. I think it might be. Yeah, you know, and, and those guys, uh, not that uh, um, Troy is not up to the task, but, uh, you know, we've got some pretty good teams in this league. And, uh, uh, you know, here McGinn uh, the other night uh, had a hell of a ball game, you know, I mean. Jeez, I thought there was a misprint. Uh, I thought you guys screwed up again, you know? Um, but, uh, gee, that was, uh, you know, when you see that, you say, holy cow, we better, we better be ready for them on the next runaround. You know, fortunately, if it's, it's home, um, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll uh, uh, maybe that'll help us a little bit. Uh, so uh, we've got to finish it off. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, assume anything in this league. Coach, what did you say going into overtime to the guys in the huddle? Uh, I told them to win the tab. Uh, <laughs> and let's see if we score first, because I think uh, that means a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, my son David is the one that, and he and Josh are the ones that know what to say, uh, seeing that I, I didn't play a lot when I was in school. I started thinking of X's and O's. Those guys think about emotions. So they were telling them, hey, we're right where we wanted to be. We were right there. We're, 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 we're tied into overtime. So uh, that's what we wanted. That's what we got.